Hello, Las Vegas. It's Monique Buchanan, the host of the Welcome Home with Monique show and your realtor friend, Monique Buchanan. Listen, I want to thank you for joining today's show. Um, I've got a good one for you. Basically, I just want to kind of give you guys the scoop, the Las Vegas housing market scoop somewhat, right? (laughs) So I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of what it really looks like out there right now. I'm sure when you're at work, you hear all different type of stories. Oh, you know, um, it's a terrible time right now. The rates are so high. Don't buy, don't buy. Wait till the rates go down. Or maybe you hear, you know, hey, buy, buy, buy. It's a great time to buy. This is when, you know, the, the savvy investors buy because they understand this is where you score the best deals. When everybody else is waiting on the sidelines, that is when you can score the best deal. And let me tell you guys, that's what I've been doing left and right lately. I've been extremely busy. Um, me and my team have been closing deals left and right. I uh, just went into escrow and sold a couple of my listings uh, before I even came onto the show today. So congratulations to my sellers. You are in escrow. Yes, like I said, it's, an, it's a unique time, you guys. You know, depending on the price point, you're going to fly off the shelf. Like the two that I went out of escrow today, we were only on the market for what, seven days, eight days, multiple offers. And we have already secured a, or accepted, I should say, but with both of them, an offer that made my, let's just say my sellers are very happy. (laughs) They're very happy. So what's going on is many of my past clients are reaching out to me because they purchased with me maybe four or five years ago, even three years ago. And they're like, you know what, Monique, we've been listening to the show. We understand what you're saying. And we want to go ahead and and get something bigger right now before everybody, you know, jumps into the pool. In fact, one of my sellers, they came around initially when it was such a hot market. It was like maybe three and a half years ago, I think. When she first came to me, she didn't have a lot of savings, you know, and she's okay with me sharing the story I asked. So she didn't have a lot of savings and she said, you know, but I want to buy. So we were using a down payment assistance program. So that was fine. She had enough to cover a good portion of her closing costs, which is great. But because the market was so hot, we literally put in probably 20 offers and she never got anything accepted at at that time. So then she circled back around to me a little bit later and had the savings um, to fight with. But guess what? Even with her at that point, because it was even hotter, unfortunately, um, buyers in her price point were offering like 10,000 over the list price. So she remembers, she knows that this is true because she lived through it, you know, luckily because she, you know, has a very experienced agent and I have an experienced team of lenders um, that we put our heads together and we combat these kind of things and put those fires out and get the client, the house shots out to Anthony Valentino and Dennis Thomas, my lending crew. Um, we were able to secure her a property where she did not have to come out of her pocket. But believe me, it was a fight. So sometimes sellers are not just interested, like I've said before, in just getting, you know, the top dollar and maybe $5,000 over. Sometimes they're more in, um, more interested in other aspects of the offer. You know, hey, maybe they need a rent back. You know, the, a lot of people, for instance, like the offer I accepted today, these folks are moving down from Reno, so they really could not... Um, help us with a rent back if that's what we needed because they need to secure the property right away for their family. So there's different, you know, little things that can be um, appealing to a seller. So anyways, long story short, we got her a home. She's been in that home for a couple years now. She wants to, you know, upsize, right? She wants to come out of that one. It was only about 16, 15 square feet. Now we are looking at a 2800 single story multi-gen Um, If you guys haven't heard me talk about multi-gens, they are pretty awesome. What they are, they can be single story or two story. They basically have a door that in within the home that leads to a one bedroom apartment attached to the home. So they differ from a casita. A casita is completely detached. It's out in the backyard on the side of the yard somewhere, almost like a pool house. But the multi-gen is actually connected to the home. Now, although it's connected, it does have its own heating and cooling system, which is very appealing. So um, the, the person staying in that property can go ahead and, you know, control their heat and it doesn't affect the main house. Now, what they do is they a lot of people will go ahead and rent that space out and that will subsidize uh, their mortgage payment, you know. So, for instance, 
maybe they're going to collect about twelve, thirteen hundred dollars from that one bedroom apartment that they have connected to their home, and that will go towards their mortgage. That's very savvy thinking to to do something like that right now. Now they're few and hard. They're kind of hard to find. I know where quite a few of them are, but you know when you go on the MLS, there's very few because I think I'm not the only one that's come up with that idea. <laughs> so, anyways, you can always you know change out the lock. And just block that door off where you only have the key so whoever's renting on that one side cannot come through. But anyways, so congratulations to my seller. We'll be going out looking at multi-gen properties today um, and go ahead and get her locked up. So you can do that, you guys. You can choose to sell your property like she did because she wanted to have that 20% down now that she's purchasing her second home. She's going to have 20% to put down on her new home. Okay, and she's going to have that because she's made that equity from the last couple years of, you know, from her first purchase. So that's the route that she took. I have another um, client right now. We're purchasing a second home. But what she's doing is she's renting out her first property. So she's going to provide, you know, that rental agreement and show the lenders. Yes, I'm renting this property out, which then frees her up to purchase another property. So these are the things that we know how to do, you guys. We know how to assist you. We know how to give you advice on whatever that little roadblock is that you're thinking, you know, you're assuming, oh, I can't do it, or no, it's not gonna work. Don't assume. Me and my team are here to assist and answer questions, and guess what, for free. <laughs> we will answer your questions for free. I sound exactly the same as I do right now on this show. <laughs> I'll meet people out and about, and they'll say, you know what, I heard your voice, and I recognize you, Mo. That You're Monique, aren't you? And I say, yep, it must be my, my cheesy laugh my husband always teases me about. But anyways, yeah, so we're here to assist, you guys, and it's for free. All right, I'm in this because I love this. You know, um, so if you have a question or a conundrum, a real estate conundrum, you can always reach me 702-984-3700, 702-984-3700. We can give you that advice that you're thinking or maybe you're just assuming. Let me assure you, yes, you're right or no, you're wrong. We've got a way to get around that. Let's move forward. Like I said, I've got quite a few listings. I just accepted two offers on one, um, two of my listings. I've got quite a few buyers, of course. And oh, let me pivot real quick. I, when I took one of my listings recently, the lady asked me something that I'd never been asked before. She said, well, or made a statement, I should say. She says, Monique, you know, I hear you on the show. You talk a lot about buyers. And um, I just wonder, you know, um, do you have any experience with listings? I absolutely have a lot of experience with listings. Now, I love to walk into homes with buyers and look around because I'm nosy. <laughs> no, no, all jokes aside, I love to view properties. It's true. I do love to assist buyers, but I love to sell my properties as well because it gives me a chance to flex my negotiation muscles, which I love to do. So for instance, Here's where it really matters and it really does count if you have a well-rounded realtor with experience on your side. When I say experience, I do not mean that the realtor has been had their license for 20 years. That means zip, zero, zilch. You heard me right. It means absolutely nothing when a realtor tells you, well, I've had my license for 20 years. Well, guess what? They might have had their license hanging up for 20 years and they've got dust on how many you know deals they've actually done. And why does that matter? Because the market is constantly changing. So if you're not an active realtor every day out there closing deals, you know, putting out fires, then you don't have the experience that's necessary because things change so quickly. What you might maybe you closed a deal 5 years ago. Well, guess what? We're in a completely even if you close a deal 3 months ago, that's how quickly the market changes. So you have got to have your finger on the pulse. You need a realtor that doesn't tell you, oh, I've I've closed 20, uh, or I'm sorry, I've had my license for 20 years. You need a, a realtor that's going to say, hey, I've closed over 20 deals in this last year. Okay, that's the question you guys want to ask when you're interviewing realtors. That's what you want to ask them. It's not how many years have you had your license. The real question is, how many deals do you close? How active are you? You know, because that's what truly matters. So anyways, let me get on back to my story. Um, so just recently in one of the deals that I just negotiated for one of the, the listings that I closed on. So there's over 15,000 realtors 
and the majority of them are exactly that. They or they they don't um, close a lot of deals. The average realtor closes about four deals a whole year. You guys, I'm not bashing them, downing them. I love them. I love my colleagues, but and I was once them. Okay, when I started, hey, I had to get my feet wet, and you know, with anything, you have to get experience. So, but here's my point: because there's so many people out there that have their real estate license, right? When they send over an offer. You know, I'm able to look that offer over as the listing agent representing my seller. I'm able to look that offer over and I already know what my seller's goal is. And I can guide that newer agent or that agent that sent over an offer that's not going to please my seller. I can guide them and advise them like I just recently did on how to make that offer more appeasing to my seller, help us to get to our goal, but at the same time, help your buyer get this home that they so much want. Okay, so a lot of times they'll just send over offers and, you know, and they'll put all these um, contingencies in that don't necessarily need to be there or or maybe they're too high or whatever the case is. Or, you know, or if I know my seller needs a rent back or what's called a post-possession, you know, I converse. I pick the phone up and just like you guys see on Million Dollar Agents, you know, a lot of that, you know, is for the show, but a lot of that is actually very true. That's me. I'll pick the phone up. Hey, you know, let's negotiate this. Your, you know, your buyer is almost there, but I need them to come up. That's not quite where we're going to, you know, need to be. Or this contingency needs to be this. Or So I don't just look at an offer, get excited and accept it. That, that, will, that will take thousands of dollars out of my seller's pocket if I'm just a newer agent that's excited to accept an offer. So I know what the buyers can do. Because I have been a buyer's agent. I know the programs that are out there. I know how to structure a buyer's offer because I do have a lot of experience being a buyer's agent. So that really helps me when I have the shoe on the other foot representing my sellers. I can guide the buyer's agent that maybe doesn't know about a lot of this stuff that you hear me talk about every Saturday. You hear me talk about all these things. Well, not you know, there's agents out there that just don't know. A lot of them, sometimes they'll say, Monique, I, I picked up something on your show. Thanks, you know, and I appreciate that. I'm not tooting my own horn, you guys. Please forgive me if it sounds like I'm bragging. I'm definitely not do, doing that. If I'm bragging, I'm bragging on the Lord <laughs> because it's not. But honestly, just the experience that I have. I've been a top agent in this field for many years. I'm always a top producer. I've got a team and it comes from closing hundreds of deals. Okay. And staying in this game or this game. Yeah. In this game, (laughs) you know, because it almost, it's like, it's like a chess game. So yeah, staying in this for these years and staying working constantly. That is what has taught me so much about lending, right? I'm a, I'm a realtor, but I know quite a bit about lending, right? Because I've learned it. I've learned quite a bit about the title companies and how they move. I have to. To be a well-rounded realtor, you have to know how to do everybody's job. Because you, one day you're definitely, or very often actually, you're going to have to be able to pick up the pieces and get the deal done. So anyways, once again, I'm running a listing special. <laughs> you can reach me at 702-984-3700. Again, my website is welcomehomewithmonique.com. You can jump on there and get a quick home evaluation. It'll kind of give you an idea of how much you can sell your house for. And remember, that's an idea, just an estimate. You can also check me out on YouTube. Now, the YouTube channel, I'm about to revamp you guys. But right now, pretty much for the majority of it or the most of it is just me um, on 91.5 KUMV. And it's just the replays of the show. So you can kind of check that out. Welcome home with Monique on YouTube. Okay, so let's jump back into it. The buyers right now, so remember, right now I've got sellers. A lot of my sellers right now are selling their property, and then they're turning around and buying something new because the builders are right now, are they're they're pulling, like dipping into their pocket and paying your rate down, okay? So they're letting, they're paying that out of their pocket. Now, they're either going the brand new home route, which I've I've found that a lot of my sellers are doing. They're selling their, their resale home and getting into a brand new home. Um, because you know what? Uh, energy efficiency, man. Let me tell you. I don't know about you guys, but these, uh, I, I hear a lot of my friends complaining about these power bills. Woo! It's so hot right now, and a lot of my friends did not do like I did. I'm just saying, and get solar. I have not looked back. You guys have heard me before. I've got a solar guy, comes on, talks about getting, um, giving you a free estimate. 
Because let me tell you, it saved me thousands. I will never go back to Nevada Power. Every house I buy will be solar for sure, 100%. I was paying like all I want to say almost three times as much as what as what I'm sorry as I'm paying now. I pay $130. I've got a 2,500 square foot home. In the summer, my husband likes it ice cold in there. He likes to freeze me and my girls out. Malia and Sasha, we're always freezing. Um, but anyways, $130 is what I pay a month, you guys. Okay, even in the summer. Um, I do have a small fee to Nevada Power. In the summer, sometimes it's like $25, maybe $50. But I'll tell you what, I don't see $500 uh, power bills or more. Um, there is so funny, I don't know if you guys seen it, but there was a rapper going off on on Instagram. It was hilarious. I guess he had gotten or received a $2,800 power bill and he was losing his mind about it. <laughs> they told him, they said, well, why don't you think about downsizing? And he said, why don't you think about lowering your rates? <laughs> but that's the thing, right? They're a monopoly. We have no other option besides solar, really, right? And here's the thing, they can go up as much as they want. They just recently went up again. So for all of you out there that, that are thinking about getting solar, you can text me and I'll have my solar guy, Bernard, come on out for free and go over your options. You're not obligated to get it, but at least you can see what that actually looks like, what that process is. You can text solar to 702-984-3700 or you could just call me 702-984-3700 and I'll get that information to you. But anyways, guys, so a lot of people are pivoting and getting brand new homes because they are energy efficient the windows, the roofing, everything, the uh, insulation in there. So all of that plays a part, you know, the LED lighting. So it really helps with the power bills in the desert. We live in the desert. So I'll be going out showing a bunch of uh, brand new homes. And like I said, the rate, the rate will be very low. Right now, she's going to be purchasing a brand new home. And I believe it's going to be at a 4.75 rate. Remember, I spoke about uh, I had Chanel on from the brand new home. She was a brand new home consultant. So if you are thinking about buying a brand new home, know that they are buying down your rates. As long as you have a realtor walk in with you to negotiate this for you, you can have your rate bought down. Me and my team are happy to assist. 702-984-3700. Like you heard Chanel say before, you're not getting a discount because you walk through the door without a realtor. But what you are doing is you're walking into court without representation. Sometimes it can take nine months to build a home. Do you really want to do that by yourself and hope that everything you guys discussed is in that contract and hope that nothing pops up and then you're sitting there by yourself going up against the builder? There's no need. The builder has already put it in place that he's going to, you know, he's already factored in that he's going to pay a realtor. So you're not saving any money. You're not getting any extra incentive. So why not have your realtor represent you and, and kind of be there for you as that middleman? throughout the process. Okay. So if you're interested in having a realtor, one of my team come over with you, walk in with you, make sure everything that was promised actually shows up on the contract and throughout the whole process, 702-984-3700. So let's get back to this, you guys. So you hear at work and, you know, when you're out and about maybe playing golf, oh, the rates are so high right now, not a good time to buy. Well, guess what? There is ways around that. My last three buyers were, they all got closing costs from the seller. All three of them. Okay. And what did we do with that closing cost from the seller? We bought down their rate. All right. The most recent buyer, I should say, she's going to be purchasing her home with a 4.75 rate. 30 years fixed, you guys. It cost $7,900. And guess who paid it? She didn't. The sellers gave that money to her right now. And no, it was not a brand new build. This is something I negotiated with the resell, a seller. I negotiated that and got that money for her. And then we went ahead and applied that, me and the lender, talked to her. Would you like a 4.75 rate? Well, what do you think she said? Absolutely. Bought down her rate, two points, because right now the rates are sitting at about 6.75. And all of this is just estimates. I am not a lender, okay? Things change every day. But right now when I'm speaking to you, that is what the lenders have told me. 6.75 is the rate right now. Um... And she bought it down to 4.75 for 30 years today, you guys. So you heard it right. She bought the rate from two years ago. She bought her house from two years ago. She's got that same rate from two years ago today. That's what we do. 
We don't stop moving. We don't start preaching doom and gloom to people because, no, we figure out ways around it so that you can secure the best deal right now. That's what you do, you guys. That's what I'm here for. That's what I do. I'm going to make sure that you can afford your payment, be comfortable in your payment, or we're not moving forward. I don't want you to be mad at me over there, you know, eating noodles mad at me. That's not what I want. You know, I'm not going to get any kind of uh, referrals from you if you're in your house mad at me. So what do I want to do? I want me and my team want to make sure that you're comfortable, that you're excited to buy, and that you feel good about it. We need to feel good about it or else I can't sleep. Okay. <laughs> and now once the once the feds do lower, because everybody says that's one of the other things you hear, wait till the feds lower the rates. Okay, well, when they do lower those rates, you can bust up that myth that you have to wait six months a year. That's not true. You can refinance. Okay, you can refinance right away. If the feds lower the rates while you just bought, turn around and refinance your house. If you so choose, or like, for instance, this buyer I just talked about, there's really no need for her to do it because she got her rate down to 4.75 for 30 years fixed. So there's no need unless they go down to the threes again, right? So let's talk about some other options. There are some other options. There's something called the 2-1 buy down. You guys have heard me talk about it, right? So let's say that you don't have enough to go ahead and buy down the rate two points. Well, we can do a 2-1 buy down. And what they did was they came up with this. This is not an arm where it's going to go up and down and all around for the rest of your loan. And you just don't even know what your payment's going to be. No, nobody's doing that, right? This is going. To, this is something that basically gives you a lower payment while you wait for the rates to come down. This is how it works, you guys. We're just going to use her numbers, right? So let's say that she didn't do the 30-year fixed rate buy down, where now she's at 4.75 for 30 years. If you're just tuning in real quick, let me stop. If you're just tuning in, my number is 702-984-3700. If any of this interests you or you have questions, you can reach me at 702-984-3700. The 2-1 buy down basically goes like this. The first year, you're down to that 4.75. Right. So your payments at, at five hundred thousand dollar purchase. Let's say you're buying a house at five hundred thousand. Your first year, your payments twenty seven hundred. Second year, your payment goes up to twenty nine hundred. Third year through thirty. Third your third year through thirty. OK, it doesn't change anymore after this. Thirty three hundred dollars for a five hundred thousand dollar house. Why are they doing that? Because they're catering to the people that think that, hey, I want to wait until the rates come down. There's no need to wait. We'll go ahead and put you in a 2-1 buy down so you can have that lower payment while you wait on the rate to come down. If and when they do refinance in that lower rate for 30 years, we are here to assist you guys. Open house at one of my listings. Um, it has a, a pool. It is in a very, very, very sought after you, uh, Centennial Hills community gated, right? And it's very rare that any home goes for sale in this area. In fact, there's like within six miles, we're the only one and we're priced right. Let me tell you, it's going for five nineteen nine hundred single story, single story over twenty one hundred square feet, eighty two hundred square foot lot, actually bigger than eighty two hundred square foot lot with RV parking, a pool. It's in a cul-de-sac, even has a courtyard. OK, the inside is very open. You know, a lot of natural light, a lot of windows throughout the home, and they're even leaving the water softener. But anyways, there's going to be an open house this Sunday. So tomorrow, OK, tomorrow at 8225 Dusty Valley Court. Like I said, this is one of my Northwest listings. 8225 Dusty Valley Court from 10 to 1 open house. OK, 8225 Dusty Valley Court. All right. OK, the next listing is 9742 Russian Hill Street. This one is in the Southwest area, 89141. It's going for $850,000. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath with pool and spa. All right, it is located in the Highlands Ranch community. Three car garage and it features built-in cabinets wired for electric car. It has solar power system that is paid off, you guys. You heard me talk about solar, so now guess what? Free power. <laughs> right? All right. Once again, that one is going for 850000 And it is in Highlands Ranch, Henderson. Okay. Next one, 9308 Harlow Rock. I'm sorry. Harrow Rock. <laughs> That's H-A-R-R-O-W Rock Street. This one's in Las Vegas, Southwest Area, 89143. This one's going for 899 And it is a seven-bedroom 
four and a half bath, and it's located in the Iron Mountain Ranch area. All right, it features vaulted ceilings. It has three separate staircases leading upstairs, two laundry rooms, two two car garages, so four car garage total, Jack and Jill bathrooms, two bedrooms on the first floor, media room, and a closet. So it can be used as an eighth bedroom if need be. Granite countertops, cherry cabinets, walk in pantry, the works. So if you want to view any of these properties or just set up a showing, you can reach me at 702 984 3700 and I will get you over there to see the properties. Or you can text K U N V to my number 702 984 3700 and we will send over pictures and information and you can also schedule a showing will get you out there to see the property and remember i am still running that listing special also my company is hiring so if you are a seasoned agent or a new agent looking for a brokerage home or a broker that's just tired of paying all that overhead exp my company is hiring they offer health care options, stock options, okay? None of us are getting younger. (laughs) So healthcare options, you heard me right, stock options. We have over 3,400 offices worldwide. We are located in over 24 countries. EXP is hiring. And if you're interested in applying for EXP and coming on over here and joining me, you can text 702-984-3700. All right, now before we go, I have to tell you, I just found out about my brother, John Nashen, and I just want to send my condolences to his family. Today at 1 p.m., they're having his service at St. Timothy's Church, 43 West Pacific Avenue in Henderson, Nevada. He was an amazing person. Now, I just recently did the fundraising with John. Um, He did get a chance to meet my daughter. She thought the world of him as well. So our heart is broken, and we are praying for the family If you would like to attend today's service, once again, it's today at 1 p.m., St. Timothy's Church, 43 West Pacific Avenue, Henderson, Nevada. And instead of flowers, donations can be made to KUNV 91.5 on KUNV.org or to St. Timothy's Church. Again, this is your realtor friend, Monique Buchanan. And you can reach me at 702-984-3700. You can join me at church tomorrow, Living Word Church. And until I hear from you, have a great weekend. 